Now, Ellen DeGeneres has John McCain on her show, and you knew it was coming. And what's amazing about the clip you're about to see is that John McCain had to know it was coming. How did he not have an answer here? I mean, look at him whisper and get uncomfortable and roll his eyes in the, as the question arises in the first place. Dude, if you're going to go on Ellen's show, you better come correct. I mean, you had to have an answer for this prepared. Did you not prepare? Man, that's weird. Uh, and I thought, you know, look, McCain doesn't talk much, and Ellen takes it to him. I thought Ellen did a great job, but most importantly, and why we're showing you this, is because I need you to look at how uncomfortable McCain is. This is great. Watch. Well, let's talk about it. Let's talk about the big elephant in the room. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, by the way, I was planning on having a ceremony anyway this summer, even though it wasn't legal, but I feel that at least I get to celebrate my love. And then it just so happened that I legally now can get married, like everyone should. And I saw where someone even registered you. Someone, yeah, yeah, illegally registered me, but yeah. I, so I'm, uh, so I'm mm -hmm. obviously excited, and to me yes. this is uh, only fair and only yes. natural. And, uh, and what are your thoughts? Well, my thoughts are that I think that people should be able to enter into legal agreements, and I think that that is something that we should encourage, particularly in the case of insurance and other areas, um, decisions that have to be made. Uh, I just believe in the unique status of marriage between man and woman, and I know that we have a respectful disagreement on that issue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that it's, it, it is looked at, and, and some people are saying the same, that blacks and, and women did not have the right to vote. I mean, women just got the right, right to vote in 1920. Blacks didn't have the right to vote till 1870. And it just feels like there's this old way of thinking that we are not all the same. We are all the same people, all of us. No, you're no different than I am. Our love is the same. To me, what it feels like, just, just you know, I will speak for uh, myself, it feels when someone says you can have a contract and you'll still have insurance and you'll get all that, it sounds to me like saying, well, you can sit there, you just can't sit there. Mm -hmm. That's what it sounds like to me. It feels like it doesn't feel inclusive. It feels it, it feels isolated. It feels like we are not, you know, we, we aren't owed the same things and mm -hmm. the same wording. So. Well, I've I've heard you uh, articulate that position in a very eloquent fashion. We just have a disagreement, and uh, I, along with many many others, wish you every happiness. Thank you. So you'll walk me down the aisle? Is that what you said? <laughs> um, <laughs> I got to tell you something. First off, I think McCain looks more and more like Dr. Evil every single day. As he goes, <laughs> I'm totally reminded of, you know, Michael Myers playing, uh, Mike Myers playing Dr. Evil. <laughs> That's a funny one, dude. Second of all, Ellen, great job, man. I love Ellen. I mean, that was exactly rightly said. And it wasn't confrontational. It was just like, hey, I'm sitting here with you. Am I not a person? And that's when McKate comes down to a whisper. I'm like, what? Speak up, bitch. I couldn't hear you. What are you, what are you saying? Uh, yeah, well, you know, I could, you know, uh, insurance and you should get an here. And look, I can't tell if McCain is embarrassed by his position and he's doing it for political painting, or if he actually believes in his position and he's uncomfortable sitting next to a gay person, right? I, I, I have to say, just because I, and I've probably fallen into the same trap that a lot of people do, but I think it's that he's pandering politically and he's embarrassed by his position. And so he's sitting there going, I so guess, my guess is, and I'm, maybe I'm being too fair to McCain here, but my guess is he's thinking, I just want to tell her, I know, I, of course you're, should have the same rights as I do, but in this country, I have to appeal to these, you know, homophobic, bigoted folks, and and I'm a Republican, and that's what we run our races on. So sorry, my bad. But of course, he can't. So by the way, he says, uh, but I'm in favor of some of the same rights, including uh, getting uh, insurance and legal agreements. And then, of course, we do research, and we find out that is entirely untrue. Watch the commercial against gay marriage in Arizona. And look at who pops up on the screen at the end there. And it's not just gay marriage. It's none of the rights that you should have in a marriage. Watch who pops up at the end there.
Just listen to the music as they're showing the gay couples, and then listen to the music as they're showing the straight couples. Arizona is just one court case away from having a radically new definition of marriage. Judges in Massachusetts, New Jersey, and Hawaii have already ruled that gay marriage is okay. Arizona voters have a choice for something better. Marriage deserves to be protected. One man and one woman. Marriage is the foundation of society. It is how we raise our children, build strong families, and create strong communities. I'm John McCain. Please join me in voting yes on Proposition 107. So that gay people can't have any of the rights of straight people in regards to marriage or civil unions or whatever you want to call them.